Today, we're taking a trip to South Korea for a close look at the Pen Trendy House Pen Case, or Pent House in short. A stylish leather folio designed to keep your pens organized and protected, this pen case boasts an extremely vast array of colors, decent construction, and a luxurious suede inner lining. However, there are a few points of considerations to make before making your purchase. One of the standout features of the Pen Trendy House pen case is its extensive range of colors. Whether you prefer classic black or something a little bit more vibrant like teal or crimson, you're likely to find a shade that suits your style. This versatility makes it easy to match your pen case with your personal aesthetics or even your office decor. Whilst I'm on the topic, there is a plethora of leather finishes both in superior and deluxe styles. I do find these terms to be a little ambiguous, as my understanding is that they both have similar connotations of perceived luxury. Perhaps standard and deluxe could be a better naming standard? Anyway, what do you guys think? Now, these leather finishes provide both a satin and matte finish, depending on whether you go for the superior, which comes in satin, or spending a few dollars more to go for the deluxe, which has a pleasing matte finish. Lastly, these designs are offered in a variety of sizes, starting from small 3-pen, medium 3-pen, large 12-pen cases, and a 3-pen tray. The last is something I am possibly considering purchasing down the line. The construction of the Pen Trendy House pen case is decent for its price point. It's made from genuine leather, which gives it a premium feel. The outer shell feels sturdy and should provide adequate protection for your pens. Additionally, the deluxe model has a distinct leather smell to it, which is quite pleasing. However, the superior finish has no odor at all. The stitching and finish are excellent with no loose threads and the brass zipper feels substantial with a very smooth unzipping action. While the pen case boasts a suede and a lining that adds a touch of luxury, the tightness of the pen loops may pose to be a problem for some users. Bigger pens certainly don't fit and those with torque clips may struggle to fit comfortably. The stiff nature of the pilot clips has already left marks within the leather. Now, for some people, this may not be an issue, but over time, this could end up looking a little messy. I like the idea of using leather, but perhaps some rethinking may be needed to accommodate larger pens and my pointer on the stiff ball clips. As for long-term durability, I can't provide a definitive assessment. Leather products can vary wildly in quality and only time will reveal how well this pen case can stand up. However, as mentioned earlier in my thoughts, the ball clips have already left marks within the leather and again, I think this is something which Pen20 House should potentially address. Other concerns have to do with the durability of the gold foil potentially rubbing off and possibly staining from the leather. Again, only time will tell. In conclusion, the Pen20 House pen case offers an accessible way to organize your pens in style. Its vast color options and genuine leather construction makes it an attractive choice for those looking for an affordable leather folio. However, the tight inner loops and the tension on ball clipped pens could be points to consider, especially if you have larger or clip heavy pens in your collection. Additionally, the long-term durability and potential stainings are factors that only time will reveal. Overall, this is a very promising product and certainly the brand's upcoming leather desk accessories are something to keep an eye on. Of course, there is stiff competition out there as well, Galen Leather being a manufacturer that has become near and dear to a wide amount of people within the community. The pricing of their products is similar and offers more storage options for stationary M pens together. So ultimately, the choice will be up to you. But it is always encouraging to see new brands emerge and bring new ideas to the community. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please do consider giving it a like. Do leave some feedback. What do you think about these pen trendy house pen cases? and do leave those down in the comment section below. Until next video, stay safe and goodbye for now.